I feel like I haven't been on here in forever and that's probably true. I know two videos ago I said I'd film a hair Q&A but um I've been kind of putting this video off just because I didn't really know how to approach this. Like I just got a lot of questions that weren't about my hair you know specifically they were about the situation and i kind of i was debating on if this video should be strictly on my hair or not yeah i'm still as i'm filming this i'm still debating on that but we'll figure it out but yeah i had finals that was so stressful otherwise this video would have came sooner but um now that school's over with i can really focus on youtube so i'm excited yeah so let's get into this video and let's talk about my hair i have my laptop i'm gonna be answering questions on the first question is how is your hair doing well okay so this is my hair right now it's grown out a little bit more here's the back this is so bad <laughs> Wait, i'm showing you guys but like it's gonna work right can you see it i don't know maybe yeah that's my hair okay so how's your hair doing now honestly i kind of fuck with it like this yeah i think it's growing in really nicely and the hair that is growing in is really healthy so i'm really happy about that did you ever consider shaving it off um i did but your girl is kind of a pussy, I'm not gonna cap. Like, girls who can pull off like a shaved head are badasses. But honestly, I know everyone says this, but like, I feel like my head's not the shape, a good shape to be shaven, you know? So I kind of just let that idea. Okay, so I did think about this and I was like, I do want to be able to say once during my lifetime I did shave my head but like I said before I was too much of a pussy to do that and like it's this far grown out so might as well just let it keep growing at this point. Um okay so are you going to color the blonde parts of your hair? I was thinking about that for a hot minute. The reason why I haven't done it yet is because the blonde parts of my hair were so fragile, I just needed to let them sit. So like, I wasn't gonna touch them at the fuck off. But at this point, I probably could. If you guys wanna see me color the blonde ends um, a certain color, let me know in the comments. What color do you think would look dope? What are your plans with your hair? Basically, my plans are just gonna be let the hair grow out, you know? Let it do it. Like, my, the plan is to just let my hair do its thing. If it weren't for the hair salons being closed, I probably would have gotten another cut by now. Yeah, so basically every time it grows to like a certain length, like let's say my shoulders, I'm just gonna cut it up here until like all the blonde's gone. And I'm just gonna let my hair probably grow out from there. Will you ever bleach your hair again after it fell out? I'm not gonna cap. I was a little traumatized from that situation. I even told the hairdresser this when she's like, do you just want to get rid of all the blonde pieces? And I was like, nah, nah, keep the blonde pieces because I I don't think I'm gonna be dyeing my hair or bleaching my hair blonde for a minute because like, that was an experience. That was more of an experience I was expecting, you know? But um, will I ever bleach my hair again? Yeah, I definitely want to. Like, I definitely like the blonde a lot and I think the blonde suits me but not in the near future because being blonde for so long I definitely miss my black hair I didn't think I'd ever say that but like I miss having my straight black hair yeah definitely okay after all the bleaching did you do any treatments or hair masks to help your hair grow so right after my hair broke off I did this one treatment I got at Sally's salon or whatever. It was like a dollar hair treatment, like little mask. It came in a packet. I don't even know what the fuck it was, but I used it and that's all I've really used on my hair. The only thing I could see say else that contributes to my hair growth is that I take these fish oil pills sometimes. I was taking them when I was home on winter break. I took them a little during the summer when this happened and I'm taking them now again. What was going through your mind each time you bleached your hair? Okay, so I bleached my hair four times. The first time after I bleached it and I saw the results and it was all splotchy, I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be a ride. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a time and a half. Um, the second time we bleached it, I was like, oh fuck, I can see this starting to come together. Like, 
I fuck with this, you know, it's something new. Third time we bleached it, I only had it for like a day or two. It didn't even soak in that my hair was that blonde. I could already tell it was really fragile at that point, but I don't know what was going through my head. It was like, well, if it didn't break off this time, what are the odds will break off next time, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I was just being a dumbass. So the last time we bleached it, it broke off and I was literally sitting there like, what the fuck? but it worked out in the end i didn't really show you guys um the end result but i'll pop in a picture and i didn't think it looked too bad i think it was just like okay this is a change i've been wanting a change for a while and this is good you know like even though it's not what i expected it's something new i needed that you know do you like having shorter hair now so i've always been the person to like short hair every year once a year i will cut my hair to this length yeah i fuck with short hair always have always will what are some things you don't like about your hair some things i don't like about my hair is that when i wake up sometimes it'll be hella funky looking because of all the unevenness it will all stick out in different directions and it will look like the worst thing ever the worst bedhead ever uh one other thing i don't like about my hair is how if i go like this you can see this really long strand right here i don't know if you can see that but i just want to chop chop it off like that but like not gonna because i've survived with it this long might as well just keep it till the end do you miss having your old hair i never thought i would say this but yeah yeah i fucking do not right now but at points i did i remember being at arizona state and there were all these beautiful asian girls rocking their brunette hair and i was like shit i should have held on to my brunette hair a little bit longer but between the awkward growing phases i have liked my hair in this way how it is now by saying i miss my old hair i'd only miss it for like an hour or two at a time like i probably miss my hair like my old hair probably like once every three months it's very rarely i miss my old hair but i have missed my old hair what's your go-to hairstyle for parties so after my hair first fell out it was very limited on what i could do with it i always wore it in a top knot and yeah i just let the buzz cut in the back show and i Honestly, I fucked with that hard. I liked it. Then after my hair started to grow out and the undercut got a little, um, like the undercut just looked like not fresh and clean and cut, you know, it was growing out. Then at that point, I would wear my hair down and wear a bucket hat. Yeah, that was a style for a fat minute a fat fucking minute and then after that i didn't wear this to parties but i started wearing beanies a lot after that that's when i got my hair professionally cut and then from then on i just haven't worn anything i just let my hair sit flat and i don't wear a hat or anything i just leave it as it is why did you not dye all of your hair black again so like i said this earlier um after my hair was so damaged i decided that I just needed to let my hair sit for a minute and to recuperate. So I did not want to touch it, dye it, bleach it, or anything. It just needed to heal. I mean, I probably could now, but like, I fuck with the blonde. I really do. It gives me like some 80s vibes. How does your hair feel? The black parts of my hair, super fucking healthy, silky smooth. The blonde parts though, you can definitely feel a difference. One of the things that like was crazy to me when my hair was growing out was when I would run my hand down my hair and I could feel like the difference. Like it was such a big difference from healthy to damaged hair. This, I would say it's dry. It's kind of like there's a straw feeling. It's just not like healthy hair. Why did you wait so long to go to a professional? So I waited so long to go to a professional because like I said earlier, I was a pussy. So I didn't want to shave my head. I figured that my hair was so fucked up. Why pay for something when it's still going to come out fucked up? Since I didn't want her shaving my head, what could she do besides go like this, which is what my friend did? I was like, might as well do it for free if like we're going to get the same result. And plus your girl ain't got no shame. So at home haircuts for the win, am I right? 
right? Okay, do you regret bleaching your hair? I definitely don't. Not one bit. Like, I look back and I just think, yeah, I would have had a lot easier days if my hair wasn't as fucked up and like I would have been less self-conscious, but I feel like it really helped me grow as a person. I feel like it helped show me that I can still make friends without looking perfect. Like, when I got to Arizona State, I was like, oh, this is gonna hinder all the relationships I'm gonna be able to build, but no, at parties, my hair was a topic. Like, they would come up to me and they'd be like, dude, I fuck with your hair. Like, like tell me the story behind it. And that'd be an icebreaker and we'd kick it off and start talking and that would lead to friendship. It showed me no matter what you look like, that shouldn't hinder the relationships you're supposed to build. And like, honestly, I feel like it kind of helped me find my own style. My hair definitely pushed me to a style I liked more. Yeah, I don't regret bleaching my hair just because why would I regret something when it was my decision and I wanted it so bad at the time, you know? Like, I did it and that was the outcome, you know? It was, it was that. Yeah, I don't regret it. I feel like it's made me so much more stronger and confident in who I am. I don't need fucking hair to be like, oh, I'm cute, you know? So, yeah. It shows me hair doesn't fucking matter. Like, yeah, hair sure does help, but like, in the end, it's just hair. No one gives a fuck. Okay. And then now, the long-awaited question. I don't even know how I'm gonna answer this. Okay, so the question is, are you still friends with the girls in your hair videos? Oh my god, you guys are gonna hate me. You guys are gonna hate me so much. And to the people out there who like genuinely support me and who leave such nice comments and like care for me, um, sorry I'm doing this to you. But this is for the people who like don't really no 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 that's not how i want to put it this is for the people who i don't even know how to word this but like i don't even know how to word this i don't even know i appreciate the support i really do but i guess this is for everyone honestly um i'm so sorry but i had to get you here somehow to listen to this um and i just want to say that i don't think I feel comfortable answering this question online right now. Maybe at some point I will, but I think you guys just have to trust me that I am making the right decision and yeah, I'm doing what's best for me. Yeah, and I just want to ask that no matter what the answer was to that question, that you guys just there's no need to give them hate. We were young and we still are. We do stupid shit. No reason to shit on them. You shitting on them is not gonna make the situation any better. They know what happened. I know what happened. Like, it's not gonna change anything. I'm not trying to defend their actions. I'm just saying there's no need for there to be extra meanness in the world that isn't like necessary like there's no need for people to be cyber bullies when it's not helping anything like we just want this to be a good environment you know so yeah so that was that i hope i answered all your guys's questions and i'm sorry i didn't really go that into depth about the whole situation i just felt like this is my personal decision to keep this off the internet for now because i don't want what i say to affect other people so i don't I don't even know if I worded like any of this like that well, but I hope I got the point across. I appreciate you guys wanting to be there for me and wanting to have my back, but cyberbullying people is not the way to go about doing it. It's just not. Um, yeah. So I'm sorry I did not answer that question how you guys wanted me to, but I just had to get that out there. <sighs> yeah. So on that note, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along for the hair journey. It's been real. Love to talking to you guys. Like and subscribe. Yeah, there's not much else to it. See you later, guys. I can't believe I just... <laughs> We're done with that. Okay, bye.